Hello, this is Mitchell. In our previous video, I showed you how to connect to and program a Campbell Scientific Data Logger. In this video, I'm going to show you how to retrieve data from it and view and graph that data however you need to. You'll need to make sure that your data logger is connected to your computer. I'm going to use a direct wired connection, and so we'll go ahead and open up our PC400. You may be using PC200W, which is fine, it will be pretty much the same process. And our data logger is already listed, and so we'll go ahead and click on connect. If your data logger is not listed or you are having trouble connecting to it, you can see how to do that in our previous video. I should also note that with this button you can retrieve the program that is currently running on your data logger. So if we click on this monitor data tab, you can see the data that is being output from the data logger in real time, or most recently. You don't have to use this tool, but it is there if you need it. So we can click on a blank cell here and then go to add, and then on the left side we have our tables. And so you can pick the table that you want. Uh, I have the sensors table that we set up, which had our two sensors. So I can click on that and then hit paste on the bottom, and it will put that data into our life monitor. This may or may not be useful for you, but it's there if you need it. Where we really want to get to is the collect data tab. You can see down below there are our list of tables. Of note are our battery table, which shows us the battery levels, and the sensors table, which shows us the output from the sensors that we put into the data logger. And next to those are the locations on the computer where those files will be downloaded to. So I'm going to go ahead and change the location for the battery and the sensors table to the desktop so that I can find them easily. So we'll click on our table and go to change tables output file and then we'll go to the desktop and change the file name to whatever we need to and then we can hit save and we will do the same thing for the battery table. Once that is done, we can click on Start Data Collection, which will actually download the tables. So they're already downloaded. We can hit OK here if we want to, or we can click on View File to actually see the data that we retrieved. So we will select our Sensors table and then click on View File, and it will pop up in this other window. And here you can see the table that we saved, and we can click on these table headings and then click on the graph button up above to uh, see that data. And on the left side we can check and uncheck whatever measurements we are interested in. And I'm not going to go into depth here. You can click around and see how it works and get the data that you need, but you should know where it is now. Once you're all done you can disconnect from your data logger. And the program is still running. This does not interrupt the data collection being done by the data logger, so you can do this out in the field without causing any problem. And I hope this has been helpful for you. Please feel free to contact us or visit our website at inmtn.com if you have any questions. Thanks.